thought we'd celebrate with nature, you know, just uh, bring the flowers to the center of cities and try and make some lovely displays around the world because we brought back the gnomes, you know, and the gnomes are the most, other than my dad, I was saying the most famous people who live here. It's huge. We're going to build a massive gnome and we're going to stick it in the center of Chelsea for people to enjoy. The lady, Ruth, who was building the gnome, she, uh, she came here the other day and she said, oh my God, I'm a bit nervous. I feel like I'm meeting someone really famous. <laughs> when she met the gang, you know, I've grown up with them, so I'm used to them. His album cover is obviously him in his garden at Five Park with four gnomes. So they just thought it would be really fun, really, really joyful to recreate that, but on a large scale, out of flowers, so like horticultural sculptures, because he loved his gardening so much. To start with, we kind of did like months of design work, so renders, CAD drawings, hand sketches, watercolours, like literally just trying to get the composition right and the design. So we knew we wanted to recreate the album cover. But we also love the idea of instead of having all four gnomes there, like having some naughty gnomes roaming about London, that it was almost a bit like a treasure hunt. So one will be at Abbey Road, which will lead people to the main one, and then another one's hiding in Chelsea. Once we nailed down the like composition, so we needed it to resemble the album cover, have some giant gnomes as big as we could. Like, it was just trying to recreate the story in a kind of really fun, but just like poignant way as well for the family and for George. He stayed here and the connection with source and the connection with nature, that's how he meditated and prayed his, his, his gardening, you know? And I, I, my whole life he was just, he'd be right over there, he'd be up in that little hill right there, um, just gardening. I mean, the reason this is, we're sitting in such a beautiful place right now is because starting that same year, when he was 27, he started fixing this up. And that's quite a fixer-upper. So basically we get kind of a core, it's like a skeleton, which is an outline, you can kind of see a bit of it here, and then we sort of, we flesh it out, so we made moss pads that is almost the skin, so we'll literally try and layer it, and then we just build in layers, so this is the outside, then obviously the decorative side is on the inside, but we'll get the shape with chicken wire and everything that we'll mould, and then what you'll see in like here, the trousers, we put the bark, would be really nice. It's just about choosing the right texture, the right colour and trying to put all the elements together to represent that gnome but also to have a bit of creative fun with it as well. So yeah this is one of the the feet and the legs for the um, for, for one of the big gnomes but literally it's all coconut bark but we tried to sort of fashion a thaw and then you have the side so it's literally like a little boot. Let me show you this. This is um, black tie leaf. This is aspidistra leaf. This is a black tie leaf and it's just, yeah, naturally in that gorgeous aubergine plum colour, which was just perfect for his, for his trousers. And especially after this lockdowns and everything, people need flowers and nice nature to... to it, nature is the best healer, I think. We brought the florist and the, and the artist over here the other day, about a week ago, to... And I got my mum involved, obviously, because she's now the head gardener. Got her to take them all around and say, okay, like, what do you want, mum? What, what colours gnomes do you, what, what are we gonna plant in his boots? What, you know, make his boots out of coconut husk or, you know, like, it's just trying to deconstruct Friar Park and then build it in the centre of London as a gnome, you know? But I think we got it, we got the colour palettes right, we got everything, I'm really, I can't wait to see it. the bones of it in at the minute we've got all the elements in um, so yeah then we're just gonna bring in all the flowers make it pretty all the landscaping all the all the grass all, and um, dress it now it just needs dressing
amazing. So, yeah, so we've got him, so we did. Beautiful. So look how big he is. He's literally like, and he's got his perfect <laughs> We were like, he needs to have like a puff, like. But look at the shoes, coconut husk. And then they look like little real shoes. Like we even did this off. <laughs> it's like a little oh my boot. God. Yeah, it's like a proper shoe. You could literally wear that. And then the mulberry bark. This is all bark. His coat. Yeah, yeah it's all re everything is natural. Like it's not material. Yeah. I know how I feel, so I know that George would be like, he'd be over the moon with this. He'd love nothing more than being in a garden. And, you know, his, his association with gnomes precedes him. It's beautiful and skillful and really, I mean, the work that's gone into it. With all, look at the bark, the coconut husk. It's very creative. It's really, it's beautiful and, uh, you know, I think especially now in this time that we're in, what could be better than a little levity?